Welcome to the Estuary Conservation Center. How may I help you? You mean this isn't the beachfront resort? I'm ready to do some four-wheeling over the dunes. You can't four-wheel over dunes. Sea oats are on the dunes and they are endangered species. Dunes with plants help save the island from erosion. They are also the first barrier to the estuary. What's an estuary? Estuaries are where freshwater rivers meet the saltwater oceans. Bays, barrier beaches, salt marshes, and sounds are examples of estuaries. So what's the big deal, dude? The big deal is that estuaries are huge areas of biodiversity. Human impact plays the biggest role in the destruction of estuaries. These areas are in danger from large disasters that occur in the oceans, like the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. They are in danger from pollution and waste runoff from inland factories. Developers like your beach resort developer have drained the salt marshes to build hotels and condominiums for tourists. When humans destroy these areas, they are destroying one of the most diverse ecological habitats on Earth. What's biodiversity? You're stupid. Biodiversity is the sum of all the living organisms that can live in an ecosystem. So, why is that important? I just want to ride my four-wheeler. I don't care about biodiversity. You're stupid. 95% of the seafood you eat has spent some time in an estuary. There are many animals. They can range from mammals, like dolphins, to birds, sharks, fish, mollusks, echinoderms, insects, and reptiles. They also have producers like plants and algae. Estuaries also have microscopic life like bacteria and protists. Terrestrial. Like aliens. Bro. That's cool. You're stupid. Extraterrestrial organisms could possibly include alien species. Not little green men. Terrestrial means land. Aquatic means water. Then I can jet boat on the black water with my friends. Yes. I'm the man. You're stupid. Jet boating is not a good idea. You could take a small boat, kayak, or canoe. You don't want to disturb that habitat of the organisms that live there. Estuaries are considered nature's nursery. I don't want to play with little kids at a nursery. I want to play with my friends, dude. You're stupid. Nature's nursery is just a descriptive nickname. Estuaries offer a middle ground from the extreme environment the ocean can produce so they offer protection for smaller creatures because they don't have as many large predators that live there and there is lots of hiding places with more plant life around. Estuaries have lots of food for young animals from detritus, decomposing plants. They also have phytoplankton that can photosynthesize. Zooplankton can feed on the phytoplankton. This starts the beginning of a food chain. Ooh, 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 cool. You got a zoo. You're stupid. I said zooplankton, not zoo. Although I would say an estuary could be compared to a zoo due to all the diverse organisms that live there. Oh. Well, if you're so smart, how do animals survive if there is fresh water and salt water? That's the first intelligent comment to come from your mouth. Good question. Estuaries have varying levels of salinity that changes with the tides. The mixture of seawater and freshwater is called brackish water. The organisms that live here have adapted to this environment by evolving specialized systems to help them survive. Organisms that can withstand large changes in salinity are called urihaline. Oysters and clams are urihaline. In fresh water, oysters undergo aerobic respiration. But when the tide comes in, and the water is more salty, they switch to anaerobic respiration. Oysters do aerobics. Wow! That's awesome! You're stupid. Not physical exercise. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen. Fresh water contains more oxygen than salt water. Anaerobic respiration is a way to keep body processes going without using oxygen. 
oysters are bivalves. They have shells. They usually just hang out. Cool dude. Do you want to hang out with me? Maybe we could go kayaking through the salt marsh and look for food chains. Or maybe we could get a burger. You're not so stupid. In fact you're kind of cute. I would love to hang out with you. But just to let you know I'm a vegan. I don't care if you from Lays Vegas. See you at six. Thank <laughs> you.